Christian was still feeling elated from losing his burden in the shadow of the cross. He was skipping along the road. There was a wall on either side. And as he walked along, two men climbed over the wall. How strange. Where are you coming from? said uh, Christian to the men. Oh, we just came this way because it's much quicker than going to the wooden gate. Um, I think that's against the rules, guys. Doesn't matter how we get in. We're in, said the man, and we're in. The three continued together until they reached a crossroads. One wide road went left, another wide road went right, but the narrow road was straight on, up the great black hill of difficulty. But Mr. On the Surface chose to go left, which led him to a dark wood. Ooh, this road was called Danger and he lost his way forever. Mr. Pretender chose to go right, which led him onto rough ground full of hummocks and holes. This road was called Ruin. He stumbled and fell and was never seen again. Wow. Christian looked at both the roads and then started walking briskly up the hill. He soon found it was quite hard work. He sat down for a rest and pulled out the paper scroll um, the Shining One had given him and read it to cheer himself up. He soon fell fast asleep in the afternoon sunshine. When he woke up, it was evening. He hurried on. He needed to get over the hill before it was too late. He ran to the top and then realised the scroll wasn't with him. He had to run all the way back down the hill and pick it up. How annoying. He felt like a fool. Christian picked up the scroll, carried on walking back up the hill. He could see in the distance the palace, the beautiful palace. Perhaps they might let me stay there for the night, he said. Yeah, we're hoping so. As he got closer, he could hear roaring from some lions. Christian was afraid and he heard a voice shouting, stay on the middle of the path. Um, the lions are chained and they can't catch you. As Christian took all his courage to stay on the middle of the path. He was shaking with fear and he heard the lions snap and roar as he walked by. But minutes later, he was at the gate unharmed. The porter said, why are you here? What are you doing? And Christian explained that he was escaping from the city of destruction and he was on his way to the celestial city said so in his book and he knew that he was on the right road. They gave Christian a lovely bed for a night's sleep and a great big breakfast, but they were unsure about letting him go um, too soon. They wanted to dress him up. They wanted to dress him up in armour that could help him with his journey. You see him in his armour. He looks really cool, doesn't it? Fully armed, Christian hurried up to the gate. Have you seen any other pilgrims pass? He asked watchful. Yes, one man in recent days. Do you know his name? asked Christian. He told me he was faithful. He comes from the town where I was born, Christian explained. Well, Porter, goodbye. If I hurry, I might catch him. It was a long walk in the valley of the shadow. Ooh, scary. The darkest yet. It was lonely. There was no water. No one lived there. And it was silent as the grave. Christian went forward, sword in hand. Feeling his way, step by step, the path was very narrow. To the right it was deep, and to the left it was marshes. Then he thought he heard a man's voice saying, Although I walk the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are with me. Immediately Christian took courage, because others who loved God were with him in the valley. He hoped to catch up and join them. Then Christian saw a man running for his life on the path ahead. It was Faithful. Hi, he shouted, wait till I catch up. Finally, Christian caught up with Faithful. They walked together, telling each other their adventures. The hours passed quickly, then Faithful noticed another man on the road. Don't think you're out of reach of the enemy yet, said Evangelist. You still have to go through many trials before you enter the celestial city. Then he pointed into the distance. You will soon come to the town of Vanity. You will have enemies in that town. Ooh, gosh. He looked at them sadly. Behave like men, for one of you will die painfully there. Evangelist suddenly vanished again, and Faithful and Christian were left wondering which one of them he meant. Oh gosh, we'll have to wait till next week to hear more of his stories.